Zero World here, and welcome back to the Prince of Persia and the Sands of Time. I am going to continue where I left off, and, um, well, in the last episode, I died a very stupid death, and it was actually pretty funny as well, but I'm going to try to limit those because you didn't come here to see me die. You came to see me progress, at least I hope so. So, let's get to it. Running along the walls, because, yeah, if you can do that, you know you would. And there it goes again, the slow motion. It's a shame you only see that one time, though. So, uh, where are we going? I have to go find the Maharaja's treasure vault. And, oh, awesome. Very good. Interestingly. And there it lay, just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Oh, the fact that I can actually jump around like a spider monkey shouldn't be too hard. Let's look at this thing first. What is this? Looks pretty. The hourglass drew me, fascinated me, but to move it would take a dozen of my father's soldiers. I wanted a prize I could fit into one hand. A.E., I'm not going to help them take it back. That's pretty much what he was saying. He's like, I'm not taking that back. You can let the other guys do that. I'm the Prince of Persia. I don't got to do work. What's wrong with you, making me do work? You crazy? I should also um, note that the dagger is not there, it's actually on the other side. And that's where I'm going right now, going to the other side of that place. Ooh, traps, lovely. The fun kind. Kids don't do this at home. Let's see, going back, going forward, going back, go! As I was talking about last time, I was talking about parkour, and the whole meaning of parkour is to follow a flow. So you're not supposed to be um, supposed to be stuck. Like when you're when you're running, you're supposed to actually flow like water to get through everything. So I mean, that, I thought that was pretty cool, but that's pretty much what was the whole the whole reason for that. So um, let's see. Hmm. Right. Don't fall. They really let this place go. Hmm. Building inspector. Oh. Okay. It's a very odd and interesting thing to say, but if you ever find yourself in a cave or something and you see a lot of dust, uh, falling on the ground like that the best thing to do is wait for the dust to settle by holding your breath and try to go above the dust because the dust will kill you I don't know why I mentioned that but you know just in case you know like uh, you find yourself all of a sudden in a cave and then there's a bunch of dust everywhere you know what to do because not many people would know that because it's uh, useless knowledge. I'm filled with that. Some other people think I'm full of something else. <laughs> but like, that's neither here or there. And there it is. I remember the last time I did this, I died really badly because I missed the jump. Like I went too far. And that was also another stupid death. It was funny, though, because you scream all the way down. Yeah! Whoops. I don't have to do that over again. Okay. Let's see. I gotta go up there. How am I gonna get there? Let's see. Not that way. Not that way. Wait. Aha. There we go. 
course I know what to do, but eh, yeah, I'm just having a little fun here. Cool flip. Oh, you know if you could do it. If you could do that, you would. He's like, I would never do that. It's just so dumb and not to the point. Eh, I don't think so. Okay, let's see. All right, go up there. There's no way to climb that. Hmm. All right, gotta use my agility. My cat-like agility. The only way to go around. Hmm. And here it is. Oh shit! Is uh whoa? I took too much hashish. Whoa! Gotta stop that. I had what I came for. It was time to get out now. I would have to agree, it is the time to get out of here, but you just play it off like nothing ever happened, like, oh, I'm just imagining that, I do that all the time. I got a vivid imagination. I, no, I, I don't think so, that really did happen, and if that happened to any of us, you would be scared out of your wits. You wouldn't be able to, like, just stand there like, yeah, I'm totally cool with that, I'm cool with that. This is probably going to be the longest cutscene of the game, but I'm going to stay quiet for it so you get a better idea of what's going on in the story. Oh. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> You promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave pearls. Oh. He's yes, dying. That should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Now the interesting part in this desert is I actually done research and it's actually called the Veil vale of Kashmir. And I thought it was interesting. Like there was a Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. Yeah, sure, I could do that. No. I do. 
Uh-oh. Okay, I think this is my worst. He basically said hell no. look like Mario and the king look like Luigi and then you had the, the vizier that looked like Wario. I'm sorry, but they just that's what it seemed like to me. Alright, time for fighting. Easy guy. Just keep each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking to my own death the sands that possess them, I live from their monstrous living death. I don't know if you guys actually heard that, but he said it. You know, they only keep coming back to life, but I have to uh, knock them down and. Use the dagger to take the sand from the vines. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to talk over that. Taking this thank you. And that's it. Don't what don't Oh, hey. Hey there, cutie. What's going on? No, no, don't don't do it. Don't don't jump no. Oh. think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. And at that, I will bid you adieu, and um, I hope that you will come back to visit the next uh, video. So, uh, goodbye from Geoblade. See you guys later.